Beauty and the Beast Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting your index and pinky nails a golden yellow, your thumb and middle nails sort of a blue, dark blue, and then your ring nail silver. So on my index nail with a golden yellow paint, one that's just very slightly lighter than the color polish I painted, I'm going to be sketching out the details of Belle's skirt. And so I'm going to start with a triangle at the top of my nail and then add sort of the fluffy looking lines that define the, um, the pleats in her skirt. And then I'm going to add those, like the trail, the trim that goes along in the middle with that same color. So now with a lighter shade of yellow, I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to highlight those sections of um, her dress, like the pleated area. So in between each of those sections we just painted. I'm basically just going to be covering it up with more yellow. So none of the original color that you painted your nail is going to show through. We're covering up the entire thing. So then you also need to fill in below those that section of trim. And then add just a little line in each section of trim with that really pale yellow. So now I'm going to outline everything we did with brown, and this is where you'll really be able to see what it was that I was doing. I know it was hard to tell before because I was painting with the same color on top of it. On top of the same color. Yeah, anyways. So this is basically the design that we painted originally with that darker yellow color. And then add just a line going straight up the center of the bodice area and add a dot on each of those cross points. And then add just a couple little lines to show that there's a little bit of texture in the dress. And then in those buttons, we're going to fill them in with a little dot of pastel yellow. So now I'm going to be highlighting my skirt with white paint. And now on my middle nail, I'm going to be painting Beast's jacket. So I'm going to start with sort of an hourglass shape, like the top of an hourglass shape, um, for the open section of his coat, and fill that in with white. So now I'm going to be covering everything up with a really pastel yellow. The reason we painted the white first was so that the yellow wouldn't be translucent and streaky, just so it has a base. And then with a golden yellow color, I'm going to be doing two lines on either side, so outlining and trailing the shape that we painted originally. And now he's got an ascot, and so I'm going to be painting that with white. And that is still pretty much the same shape, but just a little bit smaller, and that's right in the top on the center. And now I'm going to be defining everything with black. And right in the center of his ascot, there's like a little tie or a little ribbon. So you're going to want to add a line going straight across right there. And right where that is, there's a brooch. And so I'm going to first add a spot of yellow and then light blue. On my thumb, I'm going to be painting the words Beauty and the Beast. So Beauty is going to be on the, if you look at your nail from the side, on the top, and then and the small underneath it, and then Beast on the bottom. So I started with Beauty, and I started with the A because that's going to be the center letter, and we know that that has to be in the middle of our nail, and that helps keep everything even and spaced. And then add the E before the A and the B. And I know that the A isn't really the center letter, but it's about the center of the word because the B is so much larger and swirly. So you need to make sure that there's plenty of space to add that. And then the and the as I mentioned, and that is very very small, almost to the point where you can't read it. So if you can't paint that, if it's just too small, you can skip it and it probably won't even be noticed. Or you can just paint two small little lines and it'll have the impression that you painted it. So then underneath and the, we are going to write beast. And whereas beauty is a really pretty cursive font, beast is a pretty standard plain font and it's all capitalized. So it kind of gives that contrast. So I painted the B first just because we know that that has to have a certain amount of space and then I added the rest of the letters in the amount of space I have left on my nail. So if you have a longer nail this is going to be easier. If you have a shorter nail unfortunately this is going to be a little bit more difficult. And 
And now I'm going to be covering everything that I painted white. I'm going to be covering that with a golden yellow. And once again, the reason we did this, just like on the Metal Nail with Beast jacket, is because if you just try to paint the yellow on top of the dark blue, it's not going to work. You're not even going to see it because the dark blue is going to show through. But if you add a layer of white underneath, it's going to create this wonderful base color. And then you can just trace over the top of it and the color shows up nice and vibrant. On the ring nail, I'm going to start by painting a rose with red paint. I'm going to add a stem with green and then a few leaves. I'm going to be adding the details to my rose with a darker red and a very thin brush. So because this is a cartoon, it's not a very um, realistic looking rose. It's a pretty simple design and so even if you wanted to do a paint a rose however you like, you'd get the same effect and it would be just as pretty. And then highlight your stem with a lighter shade of green. And now I'm going to be highlighting my rose with some white. On my pinky nail, with I'm going with red, I'm going to be painting sort of a rough looking circle at my cuticle. This is going to be for another rose and it's not a perfect circle and you don't want it to be. And now I'm going to be adding the details of this rose. So in the center, you're going to start with basically two parenthesis lines that are intertwined and then add the petal shapes going around them. And then highlight it with white. And of course, add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!